Welcome to exercise number three. So if you run it, we see that it's very similar to the previous exercise. We have a serial input, OK button, and cancel. So let's type one serial. Press OK. Nothing happens, obviously, because we don't have the serial. We open it in IDA. We tick load resources. We press space to remove the graph mode. While scrolling down, we see that there is some strange code, like references to API functions and call the word bracket EEX quite a few times. We see it here, here, and like everywhere. This is basically some obfuscated API function calls. Very simple obfuscation, but that can slow down new reverse engineers. So now we want to find the actual algorithm. To do this, we have three ways. We can look for the strings, we can look for the imports, and we can look for dialog box param a function call and look at the dialog func function. So press Shift F12 to find the strings. As we can see in the string, we don't have any good message or invalid serial, nothing like this. We just have like, how oh, welcome to exorcist, correct me, number three, information about the company, and you don't know yet, but there is a hidden message in all these tags. So basically nothing really interesting. So let's double click one of them. And here we can see that there is no cross references. Only the last string has a data xref and it's at the start of the application and nothing really interesting for now. So now let's have a look at the imports. So if you look at the imports, we see the get dialog item text A here there, the message box A here there, so double click on it and let's see if we have any code xref. Unfortunately, we don't have any code xref to that function. We don't have any to the dialog box param A function. We do have xref, but this is used for obfuscation purposes. As you can see here, just the pointer is taken and modified and then we have a call to the bracket EEX, so nothing really useful. The message box A function is not called directly either. We do have, again, obfuscated call to some other function. So we'll have to try to unobfuscate all of the API function calls and locate the call to dialog box param A function. So the first call to an API function which is obfuscated is right at the entry point. We have a push zero move EEX offset exit process and then we add, add EEX some hex value. So what we are going to do is to resolve the calculated pointer. So you can go at the bottom left corner, choose IDC, then type exit process plus and this hex value that you are going to copy and paste. Now we are going to have the new calculated pointer and we can double click on it. And we see that this call is actually calling get module handle A. So copy it and we are going to modify the disassembly now. At this point, most people would just set a comment like this, get module handle A, but this is not the best way to do it. We can actually use some nice features. As you see, the push zero is not commented. So if you click on EEX, right click, and then choose manual, and here replace this with get module handle A, you will see that the actual parameters are renamed and commented. This is much more efficient and much more helpful for the actual reverse engineering process. If you select the two useless lines, go to view and press hide, you can even get rid of the obfuscation part. And now we have a very nice disassembly with our parameters commented. So now we can rename the D word to module handle. Afterwards, we see there is movie BX offset to some string. Then we have subtraction of 10 F4. And that push EBX is a parameter to some obfuscated function. So we are going to find out which function it is. Firstly, select exit process, go to the bottom left corner in IDC shell, 
type it plus 4c because we have at eex 4c double click on the result and we see that the call is the call to dialog box param a function and click on the eex manual paste it now we do have a call to dialog box param a function with every parameters select the obfuscation part view hide and we are done and now we have a very nice data assembly with all the parameters we see that ebx is the actual dialog func so now we are going to calculate where is the dialog func so select the address of the string go back in idc shell subtract 10f4 because we have sub ebx 10f4 then double click on the result and we have a push ebp move ebp esp which is a stack frame so this is the address of the dialog func we cannot right click and do manual renaming so we have to press alt f1 and here you can put either the address or the function name for example dialog func and now i have a push dialog func which have a cross reference to the actual dialog func and we are going to keep an obfuscating function calls. So everything looks very good. So let's keep going. So data box param A, we go to the IDC shell, plus this hex value. So we select it. Then we double click on the result. And we see that this function is exit process. So right click or Alt F1, it's exactly the same. But the exit process, select view, hide to remove the obfuscation and everything is looking good. So now we have to double click on dialog func and have a look into it. The first thing we have to do is deal with the Windows message parsing. So right click on it and uh, we are going to use the standard constant. Type WM. We see WM in the dialog, press OK, and press M on the next one, WM command. Then we have WM close. We are going to rename the conditional jumps. So this one will be WM close. So press N, rename. Same with this one, WM command. And finally, WM in a dialog. So the only Windows message interesting for us is WM command because this is what happens when you press a button. We have comparison with two IDs, two and one. Seems that number two is going to WM close, which means probably that we press the cancel button. Press OK. Then we have a comparison with ID one. And we see that um, there is a G and Z. So if it's not equal to one, then we are going somewhere else. Actual Windows message parsing loop. So just continue parsing. Press OK. And then we have a PA function call, obfuscated one, obviously. So copy dialog box param A in the IDC shell plus eight, because we have an EEX eight, we double click on the result and we see that this function is calling get dialog item text A. Click on EEX, then right click, select manual, paste it. And now we have all the parameters nicely commented. We select the obfuscation code, view, hide, okay, and this is gone. Now we have the function responsible for getting the input serial and we can start reverse engineering the algorithm.